with millions of apps available to download for your phone or tablet, it can be difficult to decide which apps to install. To separate the good from the bad, I will show you 10 awesome apps for your devices that you should be using. All of these I show you are available from the app stores for both Android and iOS. Let's get started. First up is the Cake web browser. Having been around for a short time, this mobile-centric browser has unique features that are very cool. When you launch the app, it will list what is trending right now. It has a built-in privacy mode. Tapping on private at the bottom turns it on. I'll leave it off for now. To do a search, tap the plus button. I'll do a quick search. Instead of showing you the results in the traditional list form, Cake displays the most relevant page while the others load in the background. Swiping from the right displays the pages for the other search results. You can still see the traditional search list by swiping from the left. While doing a search just above the keyboard, there are also buttons that will trigger a search for video, images, news, and shopping. In the Cake Browser Settings menu, you can customize the search results and turn on or off pop-up blocking, and ad blocking. There are tons of photo filter apps to choose from. Instead of just applying the typical filters, Prisma Photo Editor uses the styles of famous artists to create unique pictures. It couldn't be any easier to use. After you select your photo, there are several filters available for free, with more available in their paid service. Simply tapping on a filter will transform your photo. I'll select Tokyo. When it's done, you can download the image or share with others. One of the most useful free apps ever to be created is If This Then That. It works with more than 600 apps to create applets that combine services to perform many functions. How it works is that you create recipes spread across a wide range of devices and services, including social networking apps, weather apps, smart home devices, like Google Home and Amazon Alexa, and so much more. Creating a recipe is simple. When you launch the app, select the My Applets icon in the lower right. Then select the plus icon in the upper right. Tap on this. First, you need to select a trigger service. I'll go with Weather Underground here at the top. Choose a trigger. I'll select Current Temperature Drops Below. This one requires a temperature. So I'll input 60 degrees Fahrenheit and tap on Create Trigger. Now I need to decide what happens when the temperature drops below 60 degrees. I will now tap on that. For this, I want to change the color of my lights. So I'll need to find Philips Hue in this list. And it's way down there. And there it is. Select an action. I'll go with Change Color. When the temperature drops below 60, I want my lights to turn blue. So I just need to enter that where it says color value or name. And then tap on create action. In the applet preview, it will show you the recipe you created. When you're done, select finish. That's all there is to it. It will then let you know that your applet is turned on and give you other recommendations. With so many possibilities, I'd also recommend checking out the other recipes on the If This Then That app that have already been created by other users. If you're a runner, the Zombies Run app turns your workout into a fight for survival that is designed to simulate a zombie attack. After you've put on your headphones and you're ready to go, on the home screen of their app, select Start Your Next Mission. At the bottom of the screen, it will show you how long this mission is. In this case, this mission is 35 minutes. And then you would tap on the Start Mission button. The missions are broken down into seasons, with seven available, with dozens of missions within each season. So there's a ton of content available within this app. Zombies Run is free and offers in-app purchases with additional features, including ad-free missions. After surviving a zombie attack to slow your heart rate down, you may want to read a good book. Goodreads offers book recommendations based on the books you like. I can't show you this now, but the first time you launch this free app to get you started, you have the option to rate books in dozens of categories. The Goodreads home screen will show you popular or trending books. 
If you see a book that you would like to read, just tap on want to read next to the book and it will add it to your shelf in the my books section. Selecting my books at the top will show you the books that you've read, currently reading, and books you would like to read. If you select the menu icon in the upper left, you'll see several categories where you can scan books, see what your friends are reading, but the category I find most useful is recommendations. Here you can see books recommended for you based on your previous ratings for other books. One of the absolute best apps for learning the basics of programming is SoloLearn. At the time this video was produced, SoloLearn is completely free. On the Google Play Store, it says that it offers in-app purchases, which is incorrect. On the Apple App Store, they have it listed correctly as being free. In the SoloLearn app, there are several languages to choose from, including JavaScript, C++, Python, Ruby, and several others. According to Indeed.com, the best languages to learn based on average developer salary in the US are Ruby, Python, and C++. To begin one of the coding courses on SoloLearn, just select one of the topics listed. It's best on any of these to start with the basic concepts here at the top. As you complete each lesson, the next one will open up for you. Having used several internet speed test apps in the past, Meteor is my favorite. It's completely free and there are no ads. Just like its speed test competitors, Meteor is user friendly. I think my 98 year old grandmother could figure out how to use this app. Just tap on the start testing button. Once it begins, it will go through the process of testing your ping, along with your download speed and upload speed. When it's done, tapping the blue monster on the left side of the screen lets you know the meaning of the colors that are being used. So according to this, my download and ping are awesome, and the upload speed is only very good. Listed below is the app performance category which attempts to let you know how well your apps and games will perform based on your connection speed. When compared with the stock keyboards for Android and iOS, SwiftKey is a step above. Its powerful artificial intelligence learns your writing style along with autocorrect and predictive text. SwiftKey takes a while to get familiar with, but the more you use it, the better it gets. It wasn't that long ago that themes used to cost extra. All the extras, including themes, are now completely free. In their themes gallery, there are dozens of themes to choose from to change the appearance of your keyboard. City Mapper is not your typical map and navigation app. It includes transit maps for big cities around the world, which is useful if you live in or plan to visit one of the cities they cover. In their app, it lists the transit options, including bus, trains, and ride-sharing services. In this example, we'll use Los Angeles. The best place to start is to tap on Get Me Somewhere. I'll just use my saved locations here. So we'll say I'm coming from Griffith Park, going to the Staples Center. At the top, it will show you how long it will take you to walk or bike to your location. Below that, in Suggested, it will show you the fastest routes combining all the services available in that area. It looks like right now that the combination of two bus routes is the quickest. So if you tap on that option, it will show you a map of that route. Below the map is where the app really shines. It lists detailed step-by-step -step instructions to get you where you need to go. You would just need to tap on the go button in the upper right when you're ready to start your trip. There are a ton of cooking apps in the Android and iOS app stores. Kitchen Stories offers more features than most and it's completely free. It offers video guides and step-by-step -step photo instructions, how-to videos that offer tips and tricks in the kitchen, an easy to use search. You can also save your favorite recipes and create automatically generated shopping lists. I personally don't use this app or any other cooking app, but a friend of mine highly recommends Kitchen Stories, claiming it's better than Yumly or the other competitors. Thanks for watching. All the links for these apps are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of an awesome app for Android or iOS, let me know about it in the comments. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and tap on the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the newest videos from Tech Gumbo.